I've been trying out both Ubuntu and Linux Mint, and here's what I think. Ubuntu is Canonical's main Linux distro, and it comes with the GNOME desktop. At first, it feels a bit like a smartphone interface with the left side dock and the activities overview. It's kind of Mac-inspired. Once you get used to the workflow, it's actually pretty snappy. Software-wise, it's great for accessing the latest packages, and it gets regular security updates. Hardware support is top-notch, probably the best you'll find in the Linux world. The community is huge, so if you run into issues, there's usually a solution online. The only thing that might bug some people is Canonical's push for snap packages, which can slow down boot times and make some apps feel sluggish. If you're a developer or need enterprise-level support, Ubuntu is a solid choice. It has a better ecosystem for serious development and commercial software. Linux Mint is built on Ubuntu but tries to cut out some of the things people don't like. It uses the Cinnamon desktop, which feels more like Windows. You've got the taskbar at the bottom, a start menu, and a system tray on the right. Everything is very straightforward and intuitive. Honestly, it's boring in the best way. Mint doesn't push snap packages by default, has no telemetry, and no weird Amazon integration, which makes it feel cleaner and simpler. Its software manager is fast and easy to use, with a clear view of package types. Performance is similar to Ubuntu, and Cinnamon actually uses a bit less RAM than GNOME. For someone moving from Windows, Mint is probably the smoother transition, perfect for web browsing, office work, and general desktop use. In short, if you're coming from Windows or just want a stable, no-fuss desktop, Linux Mint is your friend. If you're more developer-focused, want enterprise support, or like having the newest software updates, Ubuntu is the way to go.